What's up guys, welcome to uh, your first lesson from unit two. We are done with the food uh, project. Um, so if you uh, have not finished that one, uh, please make sure you do finish that. However, um, you do not need that project for uh, the rest of this unit. Um, we're gonna be doing something completely different. Uh, we're gonna be using the same materials that we've been using before, like our sketchbooks and stuff like that. Um, so make sure you have those uh, ready as well. Um, so what are we going to be doing? We're going to uh, we're going to be learning how to apply uh, what we normally do in our notebooks and paper, which is like writing, right? In classes, we're going to be applying that to art. Okay. So uh, when you guys are thinking about like putting things like letters and words down on paper, um, you're usually like categorizing it as writing, right? And to you and to most people, okay. That, writing and drawing are two completely different things right but what you guys aren't realizing is writing and words can be used uh as a form of visual art as well um if you ever notice right some some of you guys might have penmanship that other people would consider like worse than others right there's a certain aesthetic to like a neat penmanship that people like right so there is some form of like visual appeal or art to writing Right. Some of you guys are going to say, well, you know, I'm really my penmanship is really bad. So like I'm not going to be good at this either. Well, fortunately, the way we're going to be approaching writing uh, and creating words, I should say, in this lesson uh, is going to be pretty much a whole new way of writing in general. Right. So don't worry if you aren't very good, like if your penmanship isn't very strong uh, right now. Uh, but, you know, just know that if you are if you do have like a neater and more controlled penmanship, then it's probably going to help you here, right? It's, it'll, it, of course. Um, so now we got to talk about writing, uh, <clears throat> sorry. So now we got to talk about uh, how we're going to be using writing, all right? You've probably seen stuff like this before on the, uh, if you've been to EQ2, right? Then you, uh, after map testing, Ms. Perez always makes these things called word clouds, except usually it's your guys' names uh, based on like your map scores or something like that, right? Um, we're going to be taking that concept of like big words, small words, uh, and like, di you know, different fonts and things like that, uh, and combining all of that to create our own versions of word clouds. Um, uh, the big thing to take away from this though, is the difference in size between each of the words, right? That's going to be really important here. Uh, and something else we're going to be taking, um, parts of is this stuff called word art, right? Where we use words. Um, and we fill those words with smaller words, right? And those smaller words become, uh, like when you step back, it creates, uh, you see this bigger picture. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing as well. Uh, and, you know, there are also times uh, when you've seen people, you might've seen people uh, create like animals or other pictures using uh, just one word. Um, we're not necessarily gonna be delving into this here, but this is just another example of how words uh, and writing can be, um, you know, can be uh, a part of uh, art as well, right? Art is all just about creating something that's visual, and writing is just another form of that. But what we are going to be doing um, is a combination of all the things that I was talking about. It's a uh, word word cloud art, right? So instead of just making um, a big word out of a bunch of smaller words, we are going to be uh, creating a picture out of a bunch of uh, smaller words. Okay. Um, we're going to be using color. You know, you guys have colored pencils. We're gonna be using pen, um, all, all sorts of stuff and our sketchbook, um, to, to put this image together. But as I'm, as with the previous unit, right, we're not just going to jump straight into this type of thing. We are going to start with, uh, learning how to draw block letters. Okay. So block letters, unlike regular writing letters, right. That are made of lines. These block letters are made of big shapes. Okay. Um, you know, I'm assuming, uh, if you guys don't know how to do cursive or like write in cursive, that's okay. Um, if you do, then that just gives you another tool, right? Uh, I'm not going to be teaching you how to write in cursive. Um, but I do want to show you guys the different types of fonts you can use. Um, so yeah, uh, this is just step one to a larger picture. So, uh, so don't worry about jumping straight into the big uh, thing just yet. 